Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video, and this video is very important for those of you that live in this country of Australia, and the lighting in this room is really shit at the moment, but I don't care, this has just been announced, or it was announced earlier today. Before, before we get into that, today I've spent most of it playing the new Medal of Honor game, uh, Warfighter, up, at, yeah, up in Sydney, and that of course will be playable at the EB Games Expo. If you are going, I am going, I will be there Friday and Saturday, Sunday is not a definite, I don't think so, because I'll be so fucking tired that it won't be funny. Um, but hopefully you guys will be there because I've got so much gaming collectible shit right now that I don't want or don't need or can't have because there's no room. So if you see me, chances are you'll get some random piece of shit that you probably don't want. For instance, let's go through my box that's full of, in my Call of Duty World of War box. We've just got shit here, so you might get a Nintendo badge. You might get razor tattoos. You might get art books. You might get Red Faction comic books. You might get a my ticket for an evening with id software you might get a little box that had mints in it that i ate um mints not mints the meat like or saints row cuff cuff links cuff links you never know it's going to be wild and there's going to be so much swag there anyway i'm predicting anyway so if you're coming yeah be on the lookout for me um but i've got more swag with this stuff i want to keep because it's pretty cool we've got some medal of honor badges Got a Medal of Honor flashlight that when you... I spend the better part of five minutes trying to get it on the room so you can see it on the camera. But if you can see it, if I can do this real well, Medal of Honor. There we go. Um, and we got a shirt. So I'll probably wear this to the expo because it's a large and all my other shirts aren't big enough anymore because I'm probably getting fat. But now back to the actual topic that we'll spend about 30 seconds on. Microsoft... Microsoft deserve, even if you're a Sony fanboy and you hate fucking Microsoft, they deserve a round of applause for what they have done. If you live in any other country but Australia, you know that the Xbox is $299, or $299, whatever the fuck. Or if you do pounds, or if you do euro, if you if you convert that to US dollars, chances are it's going to equal $299, American dollars. But now, because Australia is so fucking, it's so, if you have to live here for me to explain this, how this works. I've done so many videos on this, but people just don't understand. Americans, people in Europe, they cannot, they cannot fathom this. A brand new game, so Borderlands 2, for instance, when this first came out, should have cost 108 bucks. 108! Although a lot of stores now that it's the holiday season, they bring it down to $90 or $80. Um, so that's how much one video game is. Not 60, 108. That is a recommended retail price for a game. Um, that's set both by the store and the distributor. There's, there's things that we're not going to get into. So, of course, hardware costs a fucking shit ton too. So, $150 you save on an Xbox 360, 250 gigabyte console, 150 bucks. So, it used to be $450, $500 for an Xbox 360 in this country, and I think it's about $450 still for a PlayStation 3. So, if you haven't got an Xbox 360 and you want one, although why you would want one now, you know, you've probably already... Multi-platform on PlayStation 3 is fine, there's really no reason to get an Xbox 360, but if you want a new console, then now is the time, 299 bucks, And it says here that the Kinect sensor... Uh, what the fuck? Can't be fucking right. No way the Kinect sensor was interesting. Anyway, this is the apparently this is uh, the uh, the company's largest price drop on record within Australia. So thumbs up, Microsoft. I appreciate your work. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Au revoir.